This is Master Wurstmacher Adam Gertler and culinary director Michael Brown from Doghouse. Together, they created the craziest hot dogs possible. The hot dogs you'll see today are not on the menu and are exclusive to BuzzFeed. These sausages are experimental in nature. Some of them will and should never be made again. This one is a, a shrimp and jumbo lump crab meat sausage. The base is a, is a puree of shrimp uh, with a little bit of garlic, kind of an Old Bay style seasoning, some uh, fresh lemon zest, lemon juice, large jumbo lump crab meat. So I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do with Adam's sausages and how we're gonna present them for you guys. Take this nice grilled seafood sausage, purple potatoes, carrots, and uh, corn. I made an aioli with Chesapeake Bay seasoning. And there you have it, this is the Wicked Pizza. Is this supposed to be sushi? It still smells like sausage. Yep. Holy f Fancy version of a fish stick. Maybe a little too salty for my taste, but it's still pretty. I'm just gonna eat, eat more. A Vietnamese style pork influence sausages. So it's uh, all pork, cilantro, mint, scallions, fish sauce, shallot. We're doing it as more of like a banh mi and we're calling it our bon appetit. Just a little bit of hoisin sauce, pickled vegetable mixture, green lime mayonnaise, and there you have it, that's bon appetit. I'm really excited about this. I love Vietnamese sandwiches. I think there's maybe a missed opportunity to put this on French bread. It tastes like a very unhealthy banh mi. This actually tastes like more one of the more healthier hot dogs I've ever had. It does taste a little bit like a uh, banh mi. This is my least favorite right now, but still 10 out of 10 would eat again. Duck, chicken, and turkey, and put it inside of a sort of like a kielbasa style sausage. So there's fresh thyme in there, lots of fresh garlic, onions, and then the sausage was smoked. We've lightly wilted some uh, pea tendrils with the foie gras fat, onions, balsamic, and uh, fig, and we've reduced that down to like a jam. Generously seasoned the uh, foie gras. We're gonna top that off. Brown butter toasted hazelnuts. Give it a little bit of crunch. That's the menage a foie. This is a sexy mother hot dog. Oh. Oh. I don't. Um, yes. 10 out of 10, would eat again. It's definitely like more in line with what I imagine like a uh, brat tastes like. It's sweet on top, it's tangy inside. Everything is so good together. I can't, I don't understand what's happening. I give you the surf and turf first. Uh, what you have is uh, excellent quality Maine lobster tail and ribeye steak uh, in a sausage form. I'm gonna put a little bit of uh, wild arugula in there. I'm just gonna ladle a little bernays over. Crispy fried parsnip chips. And that is your surf and turf. This is like something that Willy Wonka would make. This may be the first one I'm not that into. It's so good. This is lobster? This is a luxury dog. I should be wearing a tuxedo right now but I forgot it at home. Fried chicken is such an American down-home classic. How could it have possibly have taken this long for us to come up with a fried chicken sausage? But that's exactly what we did for BuzzFeed. Uh, we basically took the classic southern fried chicken flavors. I'm talking about your buttermilk marinade, your fresh thyme, your garlic, your mustard powder, your cayenne pepper, salt, pepper. We put all that inside the sausage. We're using a, a little bit of a, a vodka beer batter, uh, and then we're gonna fry the chicken and then serve it with a waffle. Sweet maple and buttermilk kind of coleslaw dressing. Pull that string out with a little drizzle of honey. Your fried chicken and waffle sausage. This looks like the most American thing I've ever seen. It's like a warm hug. This is amazing. Always fry sausages. This is what I've learned. This is the best thing I've eaten today and maybe like will for the rest of my life. I was thinking, oh my God, I can't believe I'm making a dessert sausage. That's so disgusting. Why would anyone do that? And I started drinking and then I thought, you know what? Why don't I just put that in the sausage? So we have kind of an Irish car bomb influence in the sausage. Cinnamon, nutmeg, allspice, maple syrup. And then we finished it off with dark chocolate and marshmallows. Ooey gooey fun in this thing here. Brown butter pecan sauce, beautiful caramelized bananas. The worst dessert. Time for dessert. Okay, this is, what? What? There's meat in this? It does kind of taste like s'mores, as weird as that sounds. I'm gonna be telling my grandchildren about this 
You can hot dog desserts. Proof.